so, okay. I'm going to preface this entire evening by saying I'm not a writer, and I'm not pretending to be. Yeah, you're awesome. Uh, it's going to be fucking terrible. <laughs> so I hope you like it. It's going to be great. I got three minutes for you. Okay, I actually wrote five poems uh, in preparation for this, which I've never done before. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to read one poem first, however, that Robin uh, Hirsch, the guy that owns the place that you guys are sitting in right now, he, uh, he wrote me a poem uh, for leaving. I think he's sort of glad. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to read that first just because uh, he couldn't be here to read it for you. And I don't think he wants me to read it, so I will definitely read it. <laughs> he did. He did write it. It rhymes a little bit too. It's great. Is it, is it short? It's. Well, it's one page. Okay. How's that? All right. That's okay. Hold the page. Hold the page. Shut up. <laughs> and where's Ryan Binack, by the way? Where the fuck did he go? Smoking a cigarette. He's been smoking. No, that's not true. That's <laughs> a bad. lie. He's been in the bathroom for a long time. Okay, so Robin's home is called Dan Moves So Fast. <laughs> Dan's entire American life has been spent in a dank, dark cave, <laughs> listening to the glorious Canadian language, being mangled nightly by so called American poets. <laughs> not you guys, not you guys, it's cool. Now, as he prepares to surface and glimpse again the glorious light which shines almost as brightly on these cramped streets as on the spacious avenues of Toronto, he has capitulated and joined the ranks of so-called American poets chiseling in impermeable marble words which will live forever in the hearts of his adoptive country people. <laughs> Dan's a man who can whip up a drink in a twink He'll help you imbibe and foster a vibe. This is Maying. Maying? You know, the opposite of dismay. It's called back formation. And more than one of he's playing. More than one vibe. Go on, fill in the blank. But then, just to show that he does have a plan, both as a poet and as a man, he'll take out his pen and desperately try to rhyme. Triathlon, man. Triathlon, ped. Oh yes, triathlon. Oh, no, he's gone. Bye 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 Dan, we'll miss you. So that's that's Robin's poem.